Welcome to Curly Cami. I am Camille and we are going to continue our hair series of decoding our hair. Now, our topic today is elasticity. And elasticity can tell us what to do with our hair, but it is best to do the elasticity test while our hair is wet. Elasticity is based on the stretch and bounce of the hair strand. It can, we can determine it, determined by the hydrogen bonds in our hair strand itself and how soft and pliable the hair is while intake, while it has the intake of water. It is best, even when you have damaged hair, to do it, to do the test, the stretch test while it's wet. And there are three calories three categories of our elasticity, low, medium, and high. Now, high elasticity can stretch to 50%, 50% of its state and spring back to where it was before. And that tells you you have a balance of protein and moisture together. Now, it can handle thermal styling tools and rollers and such. And you also need mostly to always deep condition. There are DIYs for egg, avocado, yogurt, and banana to deeply condition your hair. Comment below if you would like to see some DIY tutorials. Medium elasticity can stretch and on average go back to its normal state. It does indicate that the balance of protein and moisture are good. And always deep conditioning and adding protein treatments to help prevent brittle and breakage are key. And the most very, very important is to have leave-in conditioners in your hair to help prep your hair before using any styling products. And also note that Medium elasticity can withstand thermal styling tools and, and non-heat tools. Low, 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 low elasticity can stretch the hair strand and that hair strand remains stretched or the hair strand breaks. And you can determine that you have a very lack of protein and moisture balance. There is nothing about it. Best to use a protein treatment that will deposit protein in your hair shaft and have a deep conditioning to lock in moisture and that protein. But Try to stay clear from protein treatments on a weekly basis. Possibly best to do it one to two months with protein treatments. But moisturizing treatments once a week are best for moisturizing your hair. Just know your products and stay clear of leave-in conditioners, gels that have protein in them for low elasticity. Now let's talk about products you can use for your elasticity. Leave-in conditioners are a must to prep your hair, to protect your hair, because if you're styling your hair and you still have breakage and you still have shedding, then you need to contribute a leave-in conditioner in your hair. And 
always try those DIYs because honey strengthens your hair and adds moisture. Coconut oil, coconut oil has protein in it and can strengthen your hair, but too much would add buildup to your hair strands. So be cautious of coconut oil. Aloe vera, aloe vera is amazing for deep conditioning with hair growth and strength. Then you have shea butter that is good for scalp massages and hair growth. So try out these products. If you have already, please comment below of your results. Now let's recap elasticity. It is best to do elasticity test or stretch test while your hair is wet in sections. High elasticity have a balance of protein and moisture. Low elasticity and medium elasticity would need more more protein and a, a daily and daily moisture. Try to do protein treatments one to two weeks or one to two months depending on your hair and what condition it is in. And as always, thank you for watching Curly Kami channel. Please like and subscribe so you can see more videos and always, always embrace joy.